Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, another promo Friday on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, but this time it's a big one. Road to the final is here, it is today. Big time cards, EA never goes soft with Road to the final, they always go big. It's always big name players. They do sauce up some of the upgrades pretty good as well. It's basically an inform upgrade from their base items. We'll talk about that in a second. Talk about some of the upgrades that we could see and some of the players that we could see as well. Davies, Rashford, Jesus, some of the big three players that are supposedly possibly coming based off of the loading screen. Now, it's all just predictions. It's not real as of yet, but there are some reasons to believe that some of these guys could be coming. And since EA put out big name players during this road to the final promo they have the past two years. I want to talk about some of the players that could come today, some of the content that could come and market movements that you could see as well, especially after my video yesterday talking about how I think this, this market's really going to be affected maybe even today, but especially on the sell off Saturday night, Sunday night, especially weekend league sell off. I think this market's going to take a hit because of what this promo could bring today. So without further ado, let's head into ultimate team. And download a squad update, man. Hey, I don't know if any of you guys are getting these squad updates, but literally every time I load in, I have another squad update. I don't know what it is, but it's very annoying. And now you have to sit here and watch me download a squad update, uh, and then we'll actually be able to get into the game now. But hopefully that changes because I don't think I need to download a squad update every freaking day, EA Sports. Sort it out. But this is the loading screen that we have as of right now. It starts, of course, today on Friday. Now, there's not a lot of hints in this. Just some stats, a position, and the Bayern Munich badge. Now, the Bayern Munich badge is probably one of the most interesting out of them all because this is a prediction coming in here from a guy on Twitter. We looked at his prediction yesterday for Rashford. This is from Patrick, Simple Blue 88 I will drop the link to this tweet in the description. Check it out. Uh, there if you wish, but people are thinking that Davies uh, card is going to be the Bayern badge that was leaked. The 86 shot, I think, is uh, the Jesus, and the 85 pace and the 87 physical, I think, and that was on the right side of the loading screen, could be Zakaria. So if any of these players get in tomorrow, I think Alfonso Davies would be one of the most hyped up left back cards. I mean, just look at the potential upgrade here. Going into the 70s on shooting and passing, which is not that hyped. The passing's decent, maybe for crossing. But he goes into the 80s on defense and physical. This is going to be a very, very expensive left back. And these cards are going to be very expensive. You know that's how EA likes to do it on day one promos. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit too, looking at some of the rule breaker cards, just because they've been so expensive. Uh, but this is kind of what people are thinking with the loading screen. That Jesus looks sick. Davies looks sick. And of course, it could be a Rashford card coming as well with some of the coordinates that were on the loading screen on Wednesday. So a couple things that we do know that could come today. The SBC for the Real Madrid versus Inter game. Of course, Real Madrid did win that game. So Isco should be getting an SBC at some point during this promo. I don't know if it's going to actually be today on Friday, but it very well could be. And, per, you know, for the first couple of, of weeks that we've had a promo this year, the first day SBC in terms of what player we have gotten on that Friday content drop time, like the best SBC players really haven't come out on that day. If we think about it, um, we got last last week on Friday, like during ones to watch, we got Tiago Silva. That was just an okay SBC, if, in my opinion. Not saying that they're overpriced or overvalued SBCs, um, but the Rule Breakers SBC that came out last week, we've had Bellarabi and Anaki Williams. Anaki Williams is okay. Bellarabi was okay. But nothing yet on a Friday content drop has been like an insane value SBC. So we haven't seen any insane value SBCs yet. So if it is only Isco as the SBC today, that could be a little bit maybe disheartening because I don't feel like that EA is going to give this guy a big enough boost to really make it an OP card. He's probably going to be 85 rated, probably get maybe maybe 86. Um, 84 informs go to 86 is actually, I think. So he actually would go to an 86, I believe. Uh, but um, he will probably just have like 71 or 72 pace. And that is honestly not enough, uh, for his type and just the meta of the FIFA, this FIFA and how it is, how most all FIFAs are. But that does not mean that we won't see any other SBCs because this is the champions league road to the final. And I don't think it's actually a road to the final card design. I think this is just like a champions league SBC card. Kind of an interesting design, not a lot of stuff around the outside edges, 
but this is like a Champions League design. Uh, and we could see one of the SBCs being one of these cards today. So I would expect at least at least one SBC today, whether that is Isco or some sort of other Champions League SBC player, I would expect something in there. I would also expect a road to the final objective. Last year, we had a really good road to the final objective in Mbabu. Mbabu got a lot of upgrades and he was a card that almost a ton of people did. That was a card that was really hyped up last year at the beginning of the game. And again, like I was saying with the team selection and who they could put in Road to the Final as in actual um, cards and packs uh, today, there's probably going to be pretty good SBC selection and objective selection as well. Last year as an SBC, we got Joe Gomez and we had Mbabu. So I, those are really good player selections, hyped up, very usable. Um, players in this game and well known. So I do think that we'll get a good SBC and a good objective today. Don't know about the pricing of that, but I do feel like we will get some decent content in FIFA Ultimate Team today. So let's kind of switch it a bit and talk about the market and talk about specifically how I think these rule breaker cards are going to come out or sorry, road to the final cards, how I think they're going to be put onto the game today and what it means for the market today. Now, obviously, we, re we remember last week, right? We remember these Rule Breaker cards. Rule Breaker set two was so rare out of the bat and the prices, they were, they were so extinct. I remember tweeting last Friday that literally half of the team was extinct in the first two to three hours of these cards being in packs last week. And that again is just something that EA likes to do to try to inflate these cards in my opinion. But I see a similar thing happening this week probably. The only thing that could make that different is there's gonna be more supply because people have had a couple extra days and there's more incentive to save packs. Last week there wasn't really an incentive because the, the Rule Breaker 2 cards and the Rule Breaker 1 cards, there was no break in time where there were no special cards in packs. This week, without anything in packs since Tuesday, I know there has been people saving packs, whether that's weekend league rewards. Shoot, I even saved my division rivals and weekend league reward packs uh, in the game. So I think that could bring some extra supply early in the day. Uh, today on Friday, in the first couple hours, first hour or two of the promo, that is something that happens a lot during the year. But again, that doesn't matter too much for like buying cards and possibly seeing promo cards get cheap early and then rebounding afterwards, that's not going to happen if price ranges are at a terrible place and a lot of these cards aren't getting supplied. So I would expect to see very low pack percentages on these new Road to the Final cards. And again, we talked about it in yesterday's video. These cards from last year were some of the most um, rare cards on the market all year long. These were guys were so rare. It was ridiculous. And last year, I think their pack weight was like 1.3% from a 50 K pack and rule breakers actually had a less pack weight than that. This past week, they were less than 1% from 50 K packs rule breakers set. Uh, one, I believe was less than 1% chance of packing. So that just means they're making cards more and more rare this year, which, which means people are opening more and more pack, packs, which is crazy to think about. But I do think a lot of the promo cards will start expensive today, probably drop down a little bit with some of the pack supply being opened, maybe rebound a bit into the nighttime. Uh, we will have to see just how many saved packs there actually are. And of course, I'm not expecting EA to drop lightning rounds. I still think it's too early. Could they do it? Yes, they could. But I think they're just going to drop like 50Ks and 45Ks, maybe two or three different sets of promo packs with a number that you can open, like a certain number fixed to your account, not just an actual lightning round with a global limit. So I don't think we'll see those yet. If we do, that would be very interesting because that lightning rounds mean even if they only put out like a smaller number of packs, when people know that lightning rounds are coming out, they see those, they just get hyped up to open packs and it's honestly pretty ridiculous. Um, a lot of supply comes out with lightning rounds. So we will see if they do those today. That's something to really keep in mind. Um, if those do happen, or e even with promo packs happening today, some of the things that I expect to happen on the market, and maybe we back it up here for just a little bit and talk about maybe some of these out of packs cards, um, like rule breakers and stuff. Do we see panic selling in the morning? Let's take, let's take a hold of that question for a second. Are we gonna see panic selling in the morning headed into the content drop UK time? In my opinion, if there is panic selling uh, and it's on, if there's a lot of it, we don't see panic selling that much these days. I think people are used to promos. They're used to promo Fridays and the market movements that you see on every Friday. We used to see a lot of panic 
on those uh, Friday mornings, but now we're not seeing it as much. And I really just think that's because people are used to it. They're used to it, they're trained to it because promos are coming out every single week. New cards are coming out every week and they just kind of roll with it, right? People in this game are getting used to having new content every single Friday and knowing that it's gonna impact the market in some way, shape or form. Um, so I don't think you'll see a ton of panic selling today. Of course, like we talked about Rashford, right? A lot of you guys wanna know about Rashford's inform. If he does get a road to the final card, it is going to be 86 rated, right? It'll be 86 rated, similar to his inform card. Now, this inform right now is 722. That's a bit down. I feel like that's just an undercut, though. This guy's been about 730, and he is getting sold off a little bit. And I wonder if this is because people are seeing this guy in predictions, in projections to get into this team. He was 730, almost 740 earlier today. Um, Rashford, if he does come out as a card today, would probably be a left wing, left mid. Uh, which would mean this card retains its value because it is a position change and it's very rare. But because the Rashford Road to the Final card is, is a live item, I think that is going to be another thing today that makes these new Road to the Final cards very overpriced at first. And the, if you look at the cards last year, right, from FIFA 20, look at how overpriced some of these cards were day one. We were talking today on stream, Rashford could be somewhere around a million coins, maybe, you know, a little over a mil. But then we went and saw that Mane last year was 1.6 million coins. Rashford, I would argue, is more meta than this Mane was last year. Now, if gra granted, Mane is 90 rated, Rashford will be 86. So that means maybe Rashford would be a bit cheaper. But if you look at these cards, they were just, they were very, very expensive, but nobody on the market cared. They kept, they paid the price for these cards because they were live items. And again, I've said it multiple times, but I'll continue to say it, that live items on this game, people just go crazy for cards that can get upgraded. Now we don't have Champions League until November 24th. So we have about two and a half, three weeks until we have more Champions League games. As we here see Conte starting off at 1.1 and then go up to eventually be a 1.3 million coin card during uh, like game match day four, or match day five. But match day four, I believe it is, is November 24th. So we do have a little bit of time between these cards being in packs and between when they're possibly uh, going to be rising up towards their actual games being played. But if you look at a lot of these cards graphs, once again, what you see is the Black Friday timeframe where there's a lot of panic selling on the market, these cards didn't really get panic sold that much. Here on Allen, you see he was 284, went to 418, then dropped back down about 360. But then again, uh, with the possibility and, and the upgrades that happened during the end of the group stages, he went back up to 463,000 coins, which is a really big rise. It went up almost 200,000 coins from where he was at his low point in packs. So I do think these Road to the Final cards are gonna be rising up out of packs just because they're hyped up, they're out of packs. Uh, well, they are, they're live items. That's the point I wanna make. And people just freaking love live items. But again, back to our Rashford example. If you see panic selling on a card like this who is expected to get in today, keep an eye on this, right? Keep an eye because Rashford might come out as a 1.25 million coin card and be extinct for the first hour or so before he gets a price range update. And this card might be panic sold all the way down to 700K flat or down 30, 40, 50,000 coins. That's gonna be a time where you would wanna buy that card and it will bounce back because if people can't buy the new one, then that card is definitely gonna make a movement like that. Of course, it all depends on what EA does with content today and what they decide to do with the pack weight and with the price ranges. But that is kind of a movement that I would watch today. Now, I wanted to also talk about this week's team of the week, right? We have a very popular player in this week's team of the week by the name of Joao Felix. And this guy's price fluctuated a ton today at rewards. Right now, he's around 200,000 coins, where earlier today, he bounced from 200K back up to like 230, 240, back down to 185, then back to 220, which I was able to trade in that fluctuation uh, later in the morning time and A. And now he's dipping back down again. I would keep your eyes closely if you're interested in any cards in this week's team of the week. I know it's not a really crazy team of the week, but Jao Felix, Serge Gnabry, uh, maybe Ziyech, and Benzema. Keep your eyes on these cards, right? Keep your eyes on them because I do think they're going to get packed a lot with the save packs, with the promo packs. They will get packed a lot in the first hour to hour and a half of the promo today, and they will bounce back because this Jao Felix card has so much demand. It's crazy. All right, so just kind of keep your eyes out for that. Be ready for that bounce back. If you want to try to buy them for your team, uh, the hour, hour and a half time, 
after the promo drop happens. If the servers hold up, of course, that does make a difference too. If the servers go down this week, then you would probably obviously not be able to get on the game. And, and we've seen what has happened when the servers go down is that a lot of cards do drop on this game. So definitely keep an eye on some of those cards that are in packs. And then of course, in the morning, I'll, I'll give you guys my classic example from last week. What happened last week when the content drop happened, there wasn't a lot of panic selling leading up to it, right? In fact, this Firmino card last Friday actually rose up to 250,000 coins from 230 to 250 from Friday morning into Friday content drop time. Then he dropped down back to 230, 228 even, Right when the content drop happened, the new Rule Breaker 2 cards came out, and I bought a couple of them at 228. He rebounded right back to 250 in literally an hour and a half later. So watch out for panic selling in the first hour or so of the content drop on some of these out of packs informs. Now, of course, if you see a card dropping like Firmino, but let's say they put out another uh, road to the final item that is a striker, like let's say they did it like a, a position changed Lucas. Uh, Europa League road to the final card. That maybe is not a good example, but if it's a player that is maybe dropping because another player that has got a road to, road to the final card that has kind of replaced their item as a substitute good, then that drop would possibly be one you wouldn't want to buy into unless it dropped a lot and it's a really meta card. But just kind of keep an eye on that today. Um, I do think you will see some panic selling on some of these informs that are out of packs. Uh, and rule breaker cards too, right? A lot of these guys are inflated, but they're very rare, right? For Mertens fluctuates all the time from like 500 to 535. And if any of these cards link to any of the new players that come out, you could possibly see them rising up as well. I hate to say it, but there's probably going to be leaks that come out early this morning. So definitely keep your eyes open for market movements that happen because of that because leaks happen way too often in this game and people will know the promo cards before they actually do come out. So watch out for market movements related to that. Uh, one thing I will say as well is take a look and be very careful with some of these gold cards that are lower rated. This is the time last year where some of the meta cards that were still 83, 84, 85 rated that had been holding their price because they were meta, they really started to take a drop here because people started thinking about Black Friday. People started, I mean, there was a lot of good content that came out with this promo last year. So I do think guys like Allen, guys like maybe Joe Gomez a little bit, maybe Mendy, Dembele for sure, Semedo, Davies, even though he's, if he's out of packs, um, Sissoko would be another one. Maybe even a guy like Lucas and Bale, who are still a little bit inflated for having an 83 to 85 rated card. But especially a guy like Usman. As long as there's no French, like if Griezmann gets in, then possibly Usman goes up a little bit, maybe. Um, but I think these cards are going to drop off decent, like a decent amount after this week in league because again that's just more and more pack supply that is coming out and people are kind of getting past using cards like that in their team they want to use the new latest and greatest special cards that are out so definitely keep your eyes open for that this Joe felix is actually dropping a lot right now he was just 210 215 about an hour ago now he's down to 200k so i'll keep my eyes on that as a possible flip as we do collect some flipping sales we will take it but I'm trying to flip some cards into the morning still. Uh, I've got some Jao Felixes listed at like 220. I flipped a Ch uh, Chalhanoglu and a Diamonds and Sanchez, GGs. If you guys were in the stream, you did see me buy those. So we're making some small flips as we do head into Friday. So again, it's another promo Friday, right? And the last thing I want to mention is we talked about all this stuff going down, right? We talked about the informs that could possibly drop um, and the rule breakers that could possibly drop on this stuff today. When you see the drops in price, the stuff that gets packed or the stuff that gets panic sold, there should be a, re a decent rebound into the nine on Friday. If you see something, especially an out of packs card that does get panic sold, that's a great opportunity to pick up that card. And I do think you'll see a nice market rise for three to four hours after the content drop as people buy cards and start to play weekend league. It happens every Friday. It's really good with icons, especially icon 59th minute with the basic chem style. That'll be a great place to be. Uh, if I have a lot of coins, that might be where I'm at. I might be looking at some team of the week cards and maybe getting a little bit risky with new road to the finals. But of course, we really just have to digest the content tomorrow when it does come out. Objectives, SBCs, impacts cards, and everything along the lines of that. So it's another promo Friday, boys, and this one's a big one because Road to the Final is huge. There's going to be some big name players in it today and hopefully some good content as well. I don't think we're expecting any Player of the Month SBCs yet. La Liga Player of the Month is, um, the voting is over, but the SBC I don't think will come out. Maybe it could come out today, I guess. The voting has been closed, but Ansu Fati expires in two days. 
Uh, so we will see if we do get that SBC today. That'd be like like a small chance, but I guess it could possibly happen. If you wanted to invest in SBC fodder, um, 83s to 86s, I would recommend. If there is no big SBC today, you could snag some of those during the pack supply or just wait until Sunday night if you want to do that as well. I know a lot of you guys are talking about Icon SBCs. We'll cover that in a separate video later on the channel, but that's a big talking point that we need to cover soon as well. So a lot going on today. Road to the final, big promo. Uh, we will see what EA wants to drop today. Hopefully it's a fun one. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.